It was one of the most beautiful places on earth with Mount Everest and with wonderful people and uh, ancient history. These people have shown a great determination to overcome strife and to try to come together. Do you have the voter ID cards here? Yeah. You have those. The Constituent Assembly elections in Nepal are of crucial importance. They mark the continuation of a peace process following a 10-year civil war. They also provide an opportunity for the people of Nepal to select representatives who they want to draft a constitution. Lay the groundwork, state the principles, and really to write the blueprint for the country. My name is David Potty. I'm the Associate Director of the Democracy Program at the Carter Center. We don't want to well, the Carter Center in observing elections hopes to provide an independent and impartial assessment of the quality and credibility of the conduct of elections. We're pretty excited about what we're seeing so far, um, at least on our team here in Kathmandu. The polls opened on time, all the materials are here, people are voting in great numbers. It's really pretty amazing given that in the run-up to these elections, there's been quite a lot of tension, there have been some incidents of violence, and so a lot of fear, I think, on the part of Nepalis that these elections might not even take place. Voting is very important. With one vote, we can do so much for our country. I think everyone should vote for their nation. After all, this is not for, you know, only for us, but for our generation in the future as well. The Carter Center has observed this is our 95th uh, election. And each country is different, of course, but what we try to do is to make sure that people have a voice. And we are encouraged when countries want to take that step and move to a democratic way of government. We have been delighted at the progress of this election process and at the quality of the opportunity that the people had to cast their votes honestly and quietly and orderly. And this was a very good uh, demonstration of the commitment of tremendous numbers of Nepali people to take a part in the democratic process. We really are seeing the birth of a new country. We're seeing uh, a people who are really exercising their own right to self-determination. We are also seeing a country that is transitioning from having been a monarchy for more than 150 years to becoming a new, thoroughgoing, democratic republic. And that's you know, exciting, not just for Nepalis, but I think for, for anybody. <laughs>